In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the find and replace function in Word document. That way, if you have a document or thesis or dissertation or a report that you want to ensure that your formatting is consistent, then I'm going to show you how to do the editing. There are two ways that we can go about using the find and search function. And the first one is using the control F on your keyboard. So you click the control key and F together. If you are using a Word document, if you are using a MacBook, that should be command F. And this will open up this uh, window, this small dialog box. By clicking on the three parentheses option here, you have the options to go to the replace and this window pane will open up for us to do the find and search. Alternatively, if you don't want to use the find and search, the Ctrl F keyboard option on your keyboard, you can just go to edit, click on find and you click on replace. That will also achieve the same result. Now, let's for instance that we finish editing our thesis and we've switched off the referencing mode so that the referencing does not automatically uh, re overwrite the editing we want to do. Let's say we want to italicize this at all. All you just have to do is to copy the text you want to change and then click find. If we are to find them, you can see that I have about four results here. So I have them written in this um in my report before i start the replacing function of adding the italics it's best to put your cursor at the beginning of your document and then here you want to use the find and replace the advanced option so just click on this setting icon here and go to advanced find and replace so i'm going to then navigate to the part that says replace so i want this to find the document at all that I then want to replace with italicized one. So after I've typed the text, I'm going to highlight it and then navigate to the part that says format. So this format will then enable me to be able to uh, choose my uh, font style because I want to italicize it. So if I click on my font style, I can see the italics here. By selecting that, the preview is showing me that what I originally had was the regular one, which is the at all. If I'm going to be applying this style formatting, I'm going to be getting an at all that is italicized. And because that is exactly what I want, I will click on OK. By selecting OK, I can then tell it to replace all. And you can see by, telling, by the document telling me that it has replaced all, it told me that it has made four replacements. And then I can click on OK. And then if you are sure that it's all done, you can just click on Next for it to show you the document and then close that or dialog box. And now if you are to look for the at all all over again, you should be able to find them all italicized in your document. So you can see compared to before that I add them non italicized. I've been successful in applying a change of font which is the style style if you want to do any other thing maybe add hyperlinks to a particular keyword just using the same format of me going to the advanced option you'll be able to apply the same setting in the case whereby you want to for instance if this um, milligram you want it to be close to the word to the number you don't want spacing in between them although it's always by standard, it's recommended that we should leave the acronyms of this type of uh, milligram to be spaced from the number. But if you want to do it the other way, you can just search for it by searching. So by searching, you can see it can find all of them, but it's going to be finding them with, um, with the with, without the space. So you can search it together with the space in front of it. So by just adding the space bar, in front of it and that way it's going to be highlighting the spacing between the number and the word and now you can tell it that okay replace this without a spacing so if you click on replace all it has made 12 replacements 
and you can see now that the number and the words are now squished together and if you want to reverse that just copy the um just reverse it back and add the spacing and then the word and then click on replace back and that has automatically then changed it back so that's how easy it is to use the find and replace function on word document if you find this video useful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel your subscriptions enable me to be able to or get motivated to record the next video and if you have any further question please write in the comment section thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in my next tutorial goodbye